Hey, what's up everybody? So, after that last episode, we are going to do a couple things today. We got some good fortune. We got a butcher. Awesome. I'm going to replace, I've made some choices. I'm going to replace the Vindicator in the lineup. I'm going to move everything from the Vindicator over to the butcher. And then, uh, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to um, build a second lance. So if we go to the uh, in, um, mech bay here really quick, we have enough room because we have two mech bays to run two lances. So I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to pull forward um, from storage. If we go to our light mechs here, we still have five light mechs in storage down here. Fire starter, two panthers, locust, and a spider. So what I'm thinking about doing is pulling, pulling forward the fire starter and pulling forward the panther 9L. And then probably pulling either the Locust or the other Panther forward, not sure, or maybe the Spider, or the Venom, sorry. Not really sure which one yet. But I think we'll, we'll run three Light Mechs with the Vindicator that we're about to swap out. Um, and the goal then is to run a couple of missions at a time. So we're going to have to hire two more pilots. And we're going to run double missions. So what I'm going to plan on doing for the series, I'm going to be recording the action of the main group so the the medium lance right now we'll continue along with them but the second lance we're going to be running in the background um, i'll just do that between episodes and the goal with the second lance will be to generate cash so um if you go to our contracts here real quick so the main lance will take you know the higher the higher um uh, missions and then our other lance will take the low missions and we'll just mostly go for mostly cash on these lower missions and that'll give our um, pilots a, a chance to um, get up in level so if we lose one you know at least we'll have higher level pilots and that also will once they get to a certain point will allow us to start taking uh, contract missions where we can go for a couple of months at a time so that'll be kind of cool. So what we're going to do then today is let's go to the hiring hall first. We're going to have to actually, you know what? We're going to wait. We're going to first things first. We're going to make sure we get the butcher back. So let's just hit play here. Get our financial report out of the way with. Um, so let's confirm this. Free Worlds League, uh, fighting Magistrate Canopus. Yeah, they're fighting Sir Kinnis Federation right now. So. We're just going to confirm through this because we're going to have a little bit of time before we get back in combat. So we're at 353,000 right now, sea bills per month, um, 511 left. I think we should be able to easily make our mark. So we'll probably be up over 500,000 with a second lance, um, for sure. Um, but with that, you know, running two crews at once, we might be able to get four missions done every month, and that'll be more than enough money. Plus, it'll also give us a chance to pick up some more components that we might be lacking as well. So, one more day, we're going to get the Vindicator back, and the, so let's go to our mech bay here real quick. We're going to get the trebuchet sorted out first, because the trebuchet, let's go to refit here. We picked up those two LRM-15s, the clan LRM-15s, from the last uh, episode. And I'm thinking what we might do... I know these have accuracy and evasion and nor on them, and the clan ones don't, but the clan ones weigh half as much. So if we go to missile systems here, I'm thinking that we might replace these. So we have two LRM-15s at three and a half tons each. So we might just... Actually, you know what? Now that I think about it, we're going to leave the heavier ones in here with the accuracy and evasion ignore, because I'm thinking that, and the plus one damage, that's going to come in more handy for these guys. And what I might do with these two is, I'll surprise you, I got an idea what I'm going to do with these two. We're going to put them in the light lance, but I know, what, I know where they're going to go. Okay, so the trebuchet is fine. So let's get our butcher back uh, and the vindicator. So let's just go to Argo here. Um get that butcher back. Okay, back and ready to go here. So let's go to our mech bay. I'm going to do a couple things. First, let's move forward. Um, let's go to components. Oops, storage, actually. We're going to move forward the three mechs we want to use. So let's go to storage. Okay, so we're going to move forward. Let's go light. The fire starter. Let's make this ready. 
and we're going to ready the we'll see that it's and ready. oh come on man let's ready the oh geez I wish I would just stay on there the panther let's get that ready now I gotta decide I need a scout mech I'm well, wondering let's bring that let's just do it let's bring the um, I wasn't really happy with its performance before, but I think the Locust, let's bring it forward. It's Proto Raven, improved defense, stealth, and sensors. So I'm thinking this is a perfect scout mech. I know he's really light on armor and stuff, but I'm thinking that's what I want to use for scouting. So let's ready this guy. Get the Locust ready. Why not? Got it. Okay, cool. So these guys are going to be ready in a day or a couple of days. That's fine. So next thing we're going to do is we want to pull everything off of... So let's refit. Um, so let's have a quick look at the uh, Vindicator first. So let's go to components. Oh, sorry. Go back here. Okay, let's refit this guy. Okay, so the Butcher is basically a Vindicator um, with a lot more hard points which is awesome so we can run missiles on both torsos um, ballistic uh, in the one arm so it is a better mech so I think what we're gonna do um, plus the fact that it actually moves uh, one turn ahead of everybody else the armor on it's pretty good what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull out some stuff we're gonna leave it for now but we're gonna go back let's take off everything off of our and then waiting. Okay, Vindicator. Refit the Pirate Vindicator. So this guy only had um, four laser hard points and one missile. Uh, four, five, one in the head too. But you know, we're not really gonna. We never really use that. So let's just strip this stuff off of here. Um, so we're going to just strip equipment and confirm this and confirm and we're going to go over to our other guy now we had a fusion core 200 on this one we're going to apply the same fusion core on the butcher as well right. I'll get it with the double heat sink so let's go here going to refit Now let's see if I can remember where everything went. So the light engine is going to come out. The regular, uh, this is a double heat sink engine, but we're going to pull this out because we don't need it in here. Actually, the double heat sink we might use somewhere else. Pull the cockpit out. Um, ferro fibers can come out. Now we're going to go to equipment first. Put our arm weapons in. And we had them reversed. So let's do it this way. And then we are going to put the Clan Pharaoh in. We are going to put our TC cockpit in. Uh, I can't remember if we had the Warfare Suite or not. Mm. We had the Clan XL. We had the One Exchanger. Um, going down, we had the 200 engine. And if we jump over here, it was double heat sink. So let's grab the double heat sink uh, kit. Why do we only have one here? Oh, right, because the other one hasn't shown up yet, right? Perfect. Okay, so that one goes in. Then we needed two double heat sinks. I'm going to put one on each side. Then, um, just trying to remember what everything was now. So, I'm going to go to our weapon systems. We are going to grab our two um, clan ER PPCs that we were running, one on each side. And let's go back to equipment because then we're going to need our, if we can find it here, um, we need this guy, the gyro, we need clan endosteel, we need this energy TTS, and we need the other energy TTS, that's indirect. Do we have two? I thought we had two. I think we only had one. Anyway, we had a PPC capacitor, and getting pretty closer. Let's max out the armor. I can't remember the armor, what we had fully, so let's get her close anyway. Um, like that. That's pretty close, I think. We need one more off there. So actually, let's add it here and just take one off each of the leg. 
like that. Okay, so then we had, what else do we have in here? I guess we did have the ECM suite in. Uh, let's go back up here. ECM warfare suite, let's drop that in. Let's put it on this side. And we had, um, was it just heat sinks? Why, why do I see, why does it feel like everything is so light now? Um, clan double heat sink that we have in? Maybe it was just the four heat sinks. One, two, three. Why does this seem like it's four? What am I missing here? 200 fusion core. Didn't have mask. No light engine. The right, we the correct cockpit. Um, lower. What's our heat efficiency at now? That looks like it's about right for heat efficiency. So why do we have two slots left over? What do we have that I'm missing here? The mask is two tons, so it wouldn't have been that. Regular heat sink? Do we have another clan heat sink? Do we have anything? I don't know what we're missing. Is it just me? Um, what's the extra one ton for? We didn't have a tag or anything. Hmm. But we can add a tag. Let's just do that. That looks about right though, but I don't understand. Maybe it's the way the butcher manages weight? I have no idea. The heat sinking looks correct, because it's going to be another 15 heat for the PPCs, because of the 20%. That puts us at 91 and 90 heat sinking, so that seems correct. Did we have an exchanger? Or not an exchanger, a, uh, we didn't. A heat bank. Didn't have a heat bank. What could it possibly be? I don't know. Well, we're going to go with this. 21 days, we're going to confirm this. It's going to be a while before we're up and running here. But it's definitely worth it. Okay, so let's just go one day ahead, or two days ahead, so our light lance is ready to go. Okay, cool. And let's go back to our mech bay. We're going to see what we can outfit on these guys. So, remember I said we weren't going to put the clan uh, large lasers? Or the uh, clan uh, LRMs on the um, our uh, trebuchet? That's because I want to stick them... Why is the 5T here? I didn't bring forward the 5T. I clicked on the 5L. What the heck? I know I did. Or the 9L, sorry. That's ready, the 9L. That's the one I want. Come on. You can do it. Okay, so let's put the 5T back in storage. Confirm that. We'll wait one more day. Let's go. Okay, back to the Argo. Wait one day. Excellent. So, back to our bays. And what we're going to do is we're going to stick both of those LRM-15s into that 9L. So let's refit this guy. I want to see what we can uh, outfit on this guy, because he's got two missile hardpoints. Okay, now he's not going to need to be fast. We're going to max his armor out, see what we got here for armor. So... That's looking pretty good. Let's got to take a little bit off, so let's pull a couple off the back. So, first things first, let's go to our engines. We're not going to need a really big engine on this guy. Um, we're going to put a light engine in, for sure. Uh, this engine, triple XL, we've got to sell still. So I'm going to put a 170, I think, in this guy. Uh, it doesn't need to be fast, so 170, I think, will do. Um, then we're going to need four heat sinks, for sure. So let's go to our heat. We may have to buy some heat sinks. Oh no, we've got lots here. So one, two, three, four heat sinks. So that balances out our 
fusion core and then we're going to go to equipment we're going to put in two oh arm hand won't work on that one will it work on this side it does okay one just a little bit of melee just in case so we've got two missile hard points we got um, one here and one here so we're going to go to weapons going to grab our LRMs so the clan LRMs heat is 15 so we could put two of these guys in like this and then we can grab some where's our LRM ammo here up here at the top we're gonna grab now this doesn't I don't want to do 100% criticals I think we need to Artemis system with this anyway so we're gonna grab so this is gonna be four turns of firing um, let's go to the store and see if they have precision ammo definitely gonna need it with the clan launchers so here we go buy some precision ammo and there's this only carries 80 rounds so let's buy that so we're gonna need at least three tons probably of ammo so here's our precision rounds we're gonna drop that on this side and then one more ton of LRM rounds that's like what four eight ten just a little over ten turns of continuous fire so that's plenty especially with light max now we've got um, three tons remaining so we're gonna go look at perhaps putting a secondary weapon in um, maybe gonna save the pulses um, ER media maybe um, now let's save that there really isn't secondary weapons I want to include here perhaps though we do we have another tag we don't um, I did sell those though I probably shouldn't have now cockpit wise um, let's not put a cockpit in this particular guy because he's not going to be in close however it might be nice to have reaching shot on plus one accuracy hmm yeah let me think about that for a minute so let's go to weapons again I think what I'll do is I'll stick a just a medium laser in here just so we have some other kind of support weapon just a regular one um, just for now then I know our heat's gone down a bit but I'm not worried about that just yet so let's go to equipment um, don't really have a lot of other stuff. We could put a light, extra light gyro in this guy, or ultra light gyro. Let's do that. Let's put an ultra light gyro in this guy. We do have endo steel, which we can drop in. So that's going to give us another. Ooh, that's a lot. So let's pull this medium laser out because I think I have an idea what we're going to do here. Pull that out. Um, then, what about Pharaoh? Do we have a lot of Pharaoh? we got three pharaohs so let's put one in this guy because we're not going to need all that much space so let's just take off one more point of back armor because we don't want to turn out we're not going to be turning our backs to the enemy with this mech anyway so we're going to go to weapon systems we're going to go to lasers and I think probably what we're going to do is that's 35 heat though that's not going to work out that's four tons only though yeah we wouldn't be able to have enough heat sinking in there um, medium pulse clan laser no uh, plasma rifle what's the range on this 120 so forget that idea and PPC is seven tons unfortunately so maybe we can go with a large this large laser it's an extra 30 heat though so we're only gonna be able to put another three heat sinks in here it's not gonna really help hmm. so maybe it's just a pair of mediums Just a pair of mediums, I guess. As secondary, it it'll be basically the same outfitting as a trebuchet. So put a medium laser in this hand, put a medium in the center, and then the rest is heat sinks, I guess. Could do that. That'll work. Then we have half a ton left over, which we might be able to drop in as armor. I think I took enough off, perhaps, to give us more armor. 
So I'll put one in the leg. Uh, one more. Oh, I'm out of space. Well, that's not good. So I got a ton and a half left. How do we maximize this out here? I don't have any double heat sinks. Um, if we go laser wise, I mean we can put a pulse laser instead. So pull a regular medium laser out, put a pulse laser in. That'll give us good accuracy, but we are going to need pull a regular another la medium laser out. Hmm. And then just a heat sink and half a ton of armor. That should do it, I think. So we don't we can't really add half a ton, but we can add three to the back. It's short in weight, but I mean for now it'll do. I like the fact that it's got the two uh, clan LRM 15s. Let's confirm this. 15 days. It's going to be a while before all these mechs are finished. So the next episode, I'm just going to, at the end of this episode, I'm just going to go through um, between episodes and get us to the point where we can actually start fighting again. Okay, so the next thing we want to do, I think, Firestarter, we already know what we're doing with this guy. He's pretty straightforward. We're going to drop the mask back in, in him again. We're going to put, let's go back to equipment here. So, engine wise, let's go with a 200. What is that way? 10 and a half. So, that's going to be some pretty good speed there. I mean, we could have, I guess we don't really need to, uh, we don't really need to have a lot of speed on this guy. So, I don't think I need the mask, which is going to cut down on heat. Although with a double heatsink kit, if I throw it in this guy, but I don't want—I don't think I'll waste it on a light mac. That's probably not a good idea. Um, I think these I'm, the light engines I'm going to use elsewhere. So maybe we do then go for speed here. A little bit, make them a little faster. So let's go with the 210, maybe slightly faster. I know it's a lot heavier, but that's fine. We're only putting flamers on this thing. So let's go to weapons, um, lasers. So we got lots of um, flamers here. So where are, oh, we used them up. That's right. They're on our other uh, on our other mech. So we're going to put in, let's see here. We'll put this one in this arm, this one in this arm. Then let's put a couple of vehicle flamers in, which generates zero heat. So we should be really, really heat neutral here. I don't think we're going to overheat at all. And then for a little bit of kick, I think, for some little bit of punch, maybe a couple of medium lasers in the center. And then a couple of heat sinks, maybe? I don't know. I don't think we're going to need heat sinks on this guy. Don't need any, any extra armor or structure. Um, we don't have... we got a plasma torch. If we get in close, that's three tons. That could finish it out. So if we get in close on somebody, and then we're going to need to put in at least lower arms. But if we can put hands in, I don't think we can. Yeah, just put the lower arms in so we get a little bit of bonus in the weapons on the arms. So I think that's the fire starter. That's pr probably going to be pretty good. The heat efficiency is really crap, but we're not going to be firing the medium lasers all the time. Those are just really backup weapons. Um, specifically, if our vehicle flamers run out, um, we'll probably be using these to just to do just to deal damage. So let's go this route with the with the fire starter. It's only 12 days, not bad. The other one's going to take a little longer here. So that's done. Now we want to get the heavy punch vehicle going, which is going to be the Vindicator. Right. Okay, so the Vindicator, we're going to put a PPC in. This is going to be our heavy punch guy. So once again, this guy doesn't need to be too fast. Feral fiber is definitely going in. Uh, I think this guy is going to have the breaching shot cockpit. I should have put the injury cockpit in the uh, fire starter, but I forgot to do that, so I'll have to do that later. Uh, PPC capacitor is definitely going in. We are going to put in... Uh, um, once again, doesn't need to be a heavy engine, just a 200 will be fine. The extra light engine, or just a light engine, sorry. 
Now we do have endo steel structure which we're going to drop in to get a bit of heat or a bit of space because we're going to need lots of uh, heat sinks for this guy. Then if we go to weapons, we are going, actually let's go back to equipment really quick. We're going to put in, I don't think, we're going to have to buy lower arms really. So arm hand on that side. So let's see if we can buy, let's check the store here. Might be lower arms in the store maybe, hopefully. Yeah, here we go, unlimited. It's kind of a shame that we have to actually go buy an arm, but uh, that plus one to hit means a lot, so let's drop that in there. And then back to our weapons now. So let's go to our lasers, and we're going to go to our triple plus PPC. The fact that it's got, this is actually a really, really good weapon, just stock weapon. Plus 10 damage, minus one recoil, double stability, and minus five heat. So this is like prime weapon for this guy for sure. So that's definitely going in there. Now the heat's 35, it's going to be 20% more, so it's another 7, so it's going to be 42 heat. So let's start balancing it out. So let's go to equipment, going to go to our heat sinks, let's balance this guy out. So we need 2 for the engine, and it's 42 heat, so we can put another 4 in. 1, 2, 3, 4. Still got a lot left. Now we don't have a lot of space left, that's the other problem. The armor on this guy is pretty much maxed out, um, so we can drop a little bit here. One, two, three, four, something like that. Um, now, what do we do with all that extra weight, though? I mean, I guess we don't really have to go with uh, ferro and endosteel and all that stuff. That's the other thing. Okay, missile systems. Maybe we put an SRM in. Maybe a streak. Streak four. But if we were, if this guy's going to be a ranged guy, how much is the, the TBM? It's 12 heat for 6 tons, 40 pinpoint damage with AC5 ammo. So it'll be 7 tons. And then we'll have 3 tons left over. No, we won't. We'll have 2 tons left over for heat sinks. But that's not going to give us... Yeah, it's pretty close to being neutral, though. Or we could add the streak, which is the same amount of heat, for potentially more damage and a better hit chance at less weight. So we're going to do that. We're going to add the streak 4 in. And unfortunately, this version doesn't have half-ton ammo, but we're going to put in a ton of ammo. Um, let's throw it on this side. So I want it to be near... We're going to be shielding this side primarily. So that's 40 tons. And then... Don't really know what else we could put in this guy. Perhaps a backup laser or something, like a backup medium. Just in the arm for now. And then we put four heat sinks in. So it's gonna be a little it's gonna run a little hot, I think, but um we got two heat sinks we're gonna need to oh we're not we don't, can't put that in. Interesting, we're running out of space, man. So okay, let's do this then. Let's take out the medium laser. We're just going to go with the PPC and the Streak 4. We're going to pull out the Endo Steel. Um, actually, you know what? Let's leave the Endo Steel in. Let's go back here. Leave the Endo Steel in. Pull out the Ferro Fibrous. Um, we can afford to take a little bit more armor off. We're going to be fighting low-level guys, so um, not really that worried about them. And we got four tons left, which we got plenty of slots, so that will be filled up with heat sinks. And let's do that. So we're going to have to buy some here. So there's two. Then let's go to the store. So let's buy six, I think, heat sinks. We're almost out of money here. But while we're at the store, we're going to sell that triple uh, XL engine here. Let's do that first so we have cash. So this is going to take us a, quite a while to be able to get everybody up and running. But once we do, I think running two lances is going to be kind of good. So the goal is to have another lance after this one. Um, what I want to do is have three running at the same time of three different weight values. So let's go down to equipment and I think it's under, oops, equipment. Uh, yeah, here we go. So we're going to sell this triple XL engine. Okay, cool. And let's sell a 250 fusion core. Just so we've got enough cash floating around. 
for some reason we have eight heat sinks all of a sudden? Why do we have eight heat sinks? Oh, because I haven't confirmed the build yet, that's why. Um, probably. Most likely. So let's go to buy. And then let's go down. Oops, let's just go to equipment. It's faster this way. Heat sinks. And let's grab one, two, three, four, five, six. Probably because we're gonna we're gonna need a couple for the uh, locust for sure, or the dagger. Okay, so we're gonna put two more in, and that'll round this guy out. So our heat sinking is actually pretty good overall. Um, Heat sinking's uh, 54, and then we need seven more in because of the PPC. So that's 54, 54. So it's it's flush. So that's perfect. So we're going to be able to run heat neutral on this guy. Excellent. So that's 12 days. Let's confirm that, and let's go do the dagger now. Got a million to go, million uh, cash here. So it's probably going to be the middle of next month by the time we're done repairing everything. So. Now the locust or the dagger, we got to decide what we want to do with this guy. Generally, he's a scouter and an overheater, but I'm thinking that we're going to do this guy as more of a harasser. We're going to make him fast. So let's go to equipment and see what we can drop in. Let's drop in the pharaoh for now. Uh, let's go down. Let's drop in the end of steel. Um, let's grab a f nice big core here, maybe 225, 13 tons. That's going to give him a speed of what? 290. And then let's grab the Slick Suite, because we want sensors in sight on this guy, because he's our scout. I wish I had stealth armor, but I don't, unfortunately. Um, that's one thing we're going to have to look out for. Maybe the mask system? Sprint and walk? Let's put the mask in. Why not? And then he doesn't have arms, so we don't have to worry about that. We're going to need at least one heat sink because of the engine, so let's put that in. We still got a lot left here. So if this guy's going to be a harasser, let's go to our weapon systems real quick. So if he's going to run as a harasser, then let's put a couple streaks in here. We got, we've got we've um, got arm space for missiles, so we can put two streaks in. And we're going to need a ton of ammo, so let's grab that. I'm not going to run Inferno. I don't think you can run special ammo with this anyway. Oh, yes, yeah, so let's max out our armor as well. And we're not taking anything off this guy, so it's just maxed armor. Now, rocket launcher 5 is, what's the weight? 0.25. We don't have any more missile spaces, unfortunately. That would be kind of cool if we, if we did. But So, two SRM2 streaks ton of ammo. What else can we run here? We could put in um, that bonus large laser. But if we're going to be harassing people, I mean, we could put a f the clan f um <laughs> the clan ER large. That would be crazy. 60 damage. But we don't want to lose that on this guy. Plasma rifle for overheating. Low damage at low range. No thank you. PPZ. That's 7 tons variable damage no thanks um, yeah there's not much that way we can do this guy have any ballistic hard points he does not um, hmm interesting maybe we do medium pulse lasers that's probably a better better idea let's drop a couple of those in and then some heat sinks so let's go to our heat sinks actually we're gonna need a light engine too I think because we're gonna need a few heat sinks in this guy so we can put four in um, we only have three left. One, two, three, and let's buy one more. What they should do is put a little button beside stuff. So if it's actually in store, the button should be active, and then you can just click on it, and it'll instantly buy that item, which would be nice. But, you know, it is what it is. Let's go grab another heat sink. And ECM Guardian. Plus two defense against being hit. That's one and a half tons. So let's... That's a lot of money, though. Let's buy that, though, because we don't... Well... No, let's leave it. I want to buy it so badly and drop it in here, but... Um, can't justify the cost right now. So let's do that. I mean, our heat sinking is awful. Um, 
it's a little 12 over. What do, well, these guys generate what? Nine? So, I mean, either we're firing the streaks in a pulse or two pulses in one streak. So it's not too bad overall. It's a little eight over. Not a bad, not a bad thing. And we're short um, armor-wise, or um, weight-wise, that is. So maybe we put an Artemis <laughs> Let's not put the Artemis in this <laughs> guy. I don't want to lose it. Jump jet, maybe? How much are jump jets? 0.5. Wish we had some light jump jets, but we don't. I sold them all. Silly me. But we don't need jump jets in this guy anyway. So let's just, uh, yeah, let's leave it as this. Actually, how much is... That's not a lot right there. Let's pull that out. We don't need ferrofibrous in there. So let's leave it as this. So this is one and a half. Yeah, let's leave it as this. I mean, we're a little bit under, but I don't really care. We're maxed at our armor and everything, so let's confirm this. And that will be our lance. So the next thing we want to do is we want to pick up a couple of pilots. Now I got just the two in mind. Okay, so let's go to the hiring hall here. And we're going to pick up Animal. Uh, not only is this guy good in stats and everything, but these mutton chops, man, you can't not have a pilot with mutton chops like this. This is crazy. So he's 13,000, which is excellent, but uh, he's an independent trader, which means you get discount to buy stuff at shop. He's a pirate repute, uh, recruit. Unfortunately, he might steal from the company, but still, there for both of these things, it's actually um, it's cheaper for this pilot, so he's really, really cheap. Um, and the mutton chops, we got to have that, so we're going to hire this guy. And then we're going to hire Voodoo here. Now, Voodoo's a little more expensive, but because she's got technical school, it's improved mech repair times. So I'm going to hire her just solely based on that. Now, Mushroom's got a better cost. Um, but for 6,000 difference, where is it here? For 6,000, 8,000 difference, it's worth to have the better um, repair times. I mean, it's going to be marginal, but still, it's worth it. So let's hire her. All right, so now we've got... If we go to our barracks here, we've got full two lances of mech pilots. Um, none of these guys get starting experience, but they'll get some just by sitting around waiting. And let's just have a look at the rest of our pilots. I don't think we've got anybody that's got any ability to get anything up. Actually, you don't get uh, evasion at this level, do you? No, you don't. Um, payroll hasn't gotten anything yet. Um, Vane Skater... Hmm, heat generation? No, don't really need it. Minimum range, don't really need it right now. Gonna still work on gunnery and piloting, so let's keep that. And Voodoo doesn't get anything to start with. So, that is that. So, now we've got two lances. We've got 35 days to wait. Financial report coming in 21 days, but we do have enough for two months just to sit on our duffs and do nothing. Um, so, what I might do, uh, since we've already played out a couple of missions on this, let's just quickly before we end this episode move ourselves to another planet um, let's just have a look here does this have manufacturing it does Sierra so Sierra used to be um, part of their Sakinis Federation so let's just jump jump over there 10 days uh, let's see if we can um, pick up any gear when we get there and then I'm sure there's gonna be some good contracts because the war is still going on pick up some good contracts and We'll run our double lance there. So, well in Delcor, you get a message from the commander of another mercenary company passing through. After some formalities, the message is straight to it. My boys tell me you have Animal on your crew. As one commander to another, I need to tell you Animal's not a good hire. To be blunt, error. Could not resolve <laughs> gender male, he, female, she's, non-binary, they, a thief, and a backstabber, and only <laughs> common decency had me leave them on a station instead of booting them through the airlock when I fired their ass. Be careful with your crew and keep in mind that a mech warrior with a bad reputation can bring down the reputation of your whole outfit. So I have a choice of deleting the message, firing him, or talking to him about the warning. I'm going to talk to him about him because, uh, you know what, mutton chop buddy, he's got to stay on the crew. Animal clenches their fists. I thought I'd finally found a place where I was trusted but I can see even there's an, an ex-con can't get a break. Whatever. I get it. You're watching me. Is that all? Oh, he got pissed at me. He's gained the following tag. Rebellious. 
Doesn't like authority or rules. Okay. Don't know what that's going to give us. The mutton chops made him angry. That's what it was. Alright, so let's make our way to Sierra. Six days to get there. It's nice to find uh, contracts in such short distance from each other. Saves a lot of, saves a lot of, uh, a lot of time jumping back and forth between planets and stuff. I am looking forward to trying that Light Lance out though. I gotta say the funnest part of this game really, especially Road Tech, is the uh, starting. Just trying to acquire gear. Which is one of the reasons why I don't like choosing uh, Mech Salvage as part of your uh, um, actual mission salvage because it then it just kind of gives you random mechs, you get what you get, and you know it just makes it a little more interesting. Alright, so let's visit the store here. And then if there's nothing good here, we'll send the episode. So they've got, let's see, stalker parts, two stalker parts. Well, that's cool. Locust part, oh, that's a full locust. And full, oh, that's commando parts. Okay, we don't need any of those. Jackhammer, 10 times three. Good for a melee mech. PPC double plus, evasion, ignore, recoil. That's not bad. Um, exchanger, definitely getting this. Let's buy that. Been looking for those. They have unlimited exchangers here. Really? I'm only buying one because we're <laughs> almost out of money here. TTSs for missile and energy. So we're gonna hang out here and make some cash and get some of these stuff. Get some of this stuff before we leave. Um, so yeah, we're gonna end the episode here. Um, hope you enjoyed us uh, outfitting our mechs. And when I come back, I'm going to have gone through our, all this already. We'll be ready up, up and running to go into combat again with our medium lance. So until that point in time, I'll see you later.